Look at the shadow of death. Oh my God! You're right. Oh my God, you saved my life. I told you. You saved my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I covered a lot of sound that man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Oh my god. 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 Are we okay? Thank you. Thank you guys. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. All my kids up there. Both buildings just fell? You mean people died? Look at the debris. Look at the debris. You see how that smoke was, Miss? I do. That stuff will kill you. I know. That stuff will kill you. Lead, asbestos, the, the compound stuff. I know. I can... Don't go out there, please. Look at this. Look at this. No, I just want to get smoke in there. Please don't open that door. Oh, I ain't open nothing. Look at the debris. Oh, my God. My shit is still there. Yeah, it's still coming down. So nobody on the street. Oh, oh my Look at God. I've never seen anything like this. And this is the world chase. Oh my god. They just lost a bunch of their friends. Oh no. It's very possible that those people saved my life. I don't know if you can die in that sort of thing out there, but I'm very glad that they pulled me into the store. I'm very grateful. And going back outside, the first thing that I saw was inches and inches of ash. And God only knows what that ash is made out of. Papers, debris from the 102nd floor of the World Trade Center. People who are throwing up because of the, the, the atmosphere. Can you go this way, please? Come work with me here. Rescue personnel, frantic, up and down the street. It definitely felt, looked like a war zone. The most chilling thing was that there were papers on the street. Yeah, I just found a piece of paper that's burned. It says one trade set, a 92nd floor. You're kidding. Look. With names on them, faxes, you know, documents, and we don't know what happened to those people who just moments before had those documents all around them. I think everyone on the street was probably feeling a mixture of emotions, just as I was. Mm -hmm. What about the buildings next to you? My niece is in that building. I don't know the one next to it. Though. Fear, surprise, shock, um, incomprehension, still standing, still disgust, horror, and rage. What religious in their right mind who believe in God would do something like this? Right. How, would, how could they do that, bro? It was a surreal experience. It was a disturbing experience. It was frightening. It was overwhelming. And I think it's very difficult to comprehend the magnitude of it. And I really wish I hadn't seen it because I wish to God it hadn't happened. How do you put out the fires left by the destruction and collapse of the Twin Towers? It seems an impossible task. You're now going to the base where the World Trade Center stood just hours after its collapse. It's where we found engine company number 15 and a firefighter who would only give us his last name, Firefighter Miller. It's tough. This is, tough. This is beyond... You know, we can handle just about everything. This is beyond. Yeah, it really is. 
Yeah. They were trying to put the fire out down there with towel ladders, but uh, I mean, it was on the fourth floor. We were trying to. But we got all kinds of water problems. The the, the uh, two trade buildings took out the mains. There's no way to put the fire out. <laughs> Well, they say 50,000 people work in each of those buildings. Yeah. And you know damn well, whoever was over the top of the the uh, the crashes was stuck there. How are you going to get down? There are a lot of people that saw them. So, I mean, I don't know what floor that the planes crashed into, but if it's in the middle anywhere, well, then you got 25,000 people in each building right off the bat. Yeah. Where were you? 88, one well trained. 72. You're on 88? How'd you live through that? Sheer luck. Our rigs one or once buried down there. Still missing those three guys. Three guys. Never in the history of this city have so many firefighters and police perished all at once. He just got to get out. Get him out of here. He was in the collapse. He got buried. Exhausted and choking on ash, the police and firefighters pull back. Yeah, we, got we, we were in the stairway. That was the collapse of the first building. Many firefighters are in shock. So the plane went in, and bodies came out. They told me uh, five minutes trapped in the subway, uh, a lot of seven. So I got to their rig, grabbed some of the equipment, and I went down in the subway. And that's when the second tower fell while I was in that in that uh, subway. But I went pretty deep. Nobody to be found. It's pitch black there. Nobody to be found. Those who made it out try to call loved ones to let them know they're alive. Hello? But the circuits are so overloaded, cell phones prove worthless. A command post is set up at Stuyvesant High School. Inside, firefighters line up for the payphones. Where's our boss? Chief, Chief, Palpy, 76 is right here. If you were in a building, I think you were safe. You know? Anybody in the street? Really? The rubble on Liberty Street's five feet high. The silver facade that was on it, that really didn't look like too big when you looked at it. It's huge. It's like each piece is about this wide and it's about like this deep. And it all piled up like this all on Liberty Street. There's, there's twisted eye beams and this stuff you wouldn't you, Yeah, If you looked at it, it looks like World War III. Miller realizes that 7 World Trade Center is next to fall. See where the white smoke is? You see this thing leaning like this? It's definitely going to There's no way to stop it. Because you have to go up in there to put it out, and it's already, the, the, the structural integrity is not there in the building. Will, you see the fire coming up the terrace? Up the terrace, that just started. By 3 o'clock, help is arriving in the form of fresh troops from the outer boroughs and nearby counties. Hey, everybody that hasn't signed up yet at this command post, let's get them themselves on the board. Jeez, you're going to need cranes. You know, you're not even going to move that stuff with payloaders. You're going to need a crane and torches to cut it up and move it. 
had a total recall of all 